Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be planting some sweet peas for the cut flower garden. Today I have three varieties that I'm going to be seeding. I have this Sweet Dreams Mixed Colors. Uh, these get up to 12 foot. I have this Mammoth Salmon Cream. These get up to four foot, four feet. And then I have this Obon Bay uh, that I got from Florette and it gets up to eight feet. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few seeds out and I have some water that I'm going to place them in for a couple hours. Some people say to soak sweet peas overnight. Some people say to soak them just for a couple hours. I am going to soak them for about three or four hours. I don't want to soak them for too long and they rot. The last time I planted some sweet peas, I soaked them for about three hours and I had perfect germination. So I don't want to overdo it. To plant these sweet peas, I started out with a mix that I made myself, uh, but if you don't have a whole lot of things to start, then definitely just go and grab you a bag of Jiffy's Seed Starting Mix. That is just the best brand that I have came across in all my years of seed starting. I definitely recommend though to get a seed starting mix. Don't try to save money by getting potting soil because those for one, they're going to have really large pieces in them, and for two, they're not going to be a sterile mix. And it's really important when you're seed starting in the house, um, it just really decreases your chance of dealing with things like fungus gnats and stuff like that. And then uh, make sure you pre-moisten it. It makes it so much easier when you're trying to water after planting your seeds. Uh, and then you just want to plant them about a quarter inch deep. Uh, and then I added some, some uh, vermiculite on top that helps with uh, keeping them moist, but it also helps to keep down on um, like algae growth. Now, if they dry out, they're not going to germinate. You really need to make sure they stay moist at all times. Um, I usually check on mine about twice a day, um, and I usually keep them covered with a humidity dome, and I usually don't have to mist them every day, but uh, it just depends on the humidity in your house. Um, after about 50% of them germinate, then you're going to want to take the humidity dome off to give the other ones some uh, air. Um, and then after they've all germinated, then you want to just start bottom watering. I explained in my first seedling update of the year uh, a couple of reasons why bottom watering is beneficial if you want to check that out. Um, but then after that, you just want to uh, fertilize these weekly. Uh, I use a uh, Neptune's Harvest Fish and Seaweed Fertilizer. Uh, once they start to grow their first set of true leaves, I use about a quarter strength. And then after they've started growing on a little bit, then I will do about a half strength to slowly move up to full strength is what I'm getting at. There was one more thing I forgot to mention when filming this voiceover, and that is to plant them in something deep. You really don't want to plant them in a little 50 cell or 72 cell tray uh, because they, they have really long roots. They don't like their roots to be disturbed. So I recommend at least a three inch deep pot. Um, they also have like root trainers. So they're like small pots in the diameter, but they're about six inches deep. Um, I've heard those work really well. And then that's about it for planting sweet peas. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's here. You grow cut flowers. You probably know what this is, but for those of you that don't, this is Florette's new book, Discovering Dahlias. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, my son brought me this, was like, hey, this, I just saw this on the porch, and I like ripped it out of his hands and took off, like, pushed everything off the table and he's like what's wrong thinking that something's wrong and I'm like oh nothing honey it's just it's a good thing it's fine <laughs> I'm usually not one of those people that like freak out over you know like the you know the new book coming out or you know the new seeds or you know I get excited about it but I don't freak out but this has me freaking out 
Uh, she's supposed to be sending a packet of seeds uh, as well as signing the book. But yeah, I don't know. I've just been seeing all of her pictures on Facebook and Instagram. And there's just so many beautiful color combinations and, you know, petal shapes and just, you know, all of the different, you know, structures of them. Like there's this one variety uh, I saw on another uh, website um, called Mika Miranda Michaela or Michaela Miranda. Um, it's just so beautiful. It looks, it reminds me of cotton candy. It's like a purplish pink, like ombre. And I want to open it so bad, but I want to wait to do an unboxing for you guys. And I don't have time to do an unboxing right now, so I'm going to have to wait until I can film an unboxing just to open this. And I just got an email that my actual Dahlia tubers are on their way. I ordered some tubers from a couple different places and they're on their way from one of those companies. So maybe I can do an unboxing of this and my Dahlia tubers. That would be exciting. All right, well, those are my tips for planting and growing sweet peas based off my experience so far. If you enjoyed the video, I really would appreciate a big thumbs up. And I would love to know in the comments if you are growing sweet peas this year, what varieties you've grown, what are some of your favorites, and any tips that you have on growing them. All right, guys, I will talk to you.